What throws people off the most is that instead of fighting fire with fire, instead of reacting or instead of approaching this situation the exact same way they would with coercion and shaming and trying to get and trying to convince them that your way is right, instead you approach the situation with a word that's your alignment, do you boo. I support you. I respect that. And they're like, what the fuck just happened? You damn right. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, for your moment, for whenever, yeah? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, guys, so this could resonate for you at any moment in your life, yeah? I hope this message finds you well. I hope you're having a good day. Whenever this message finds you in your day, I hope you're having a good day. Uh, sending you so much love. Um, I don't really have anything to start with for the collective other than maybe check out last night's happy hour uh, happy hour session if you didn't haven't done so already. Link can be found in the top right of your screen, bot the uh, comment section, the pinned comment down below and the description along with the timestamps. Yes. But other than that, I really don't have anything to say right now to start with. So let's just get into this, guys. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what we've got for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. Let's get into this here. Let's see what we've got going on for today. Five shuffles. This is one. This is one. For the collective. Morning coffee. What's going on? What do we want to talk about with the collective today? Please, Spirit, this is two. This is three. Morning coffee, general collective energy reading. This is four. And this is five. All right, kids. What's going on with the collective today? What do we want to talk about with the collective today? Please, Spirit, what do we want to talk about with the collective today? Oh, okay. That's enough. Stay right there. All right, cool. Overall, oh, wait a second. Wait a second here. Oh, I see. Okay. Overall energy that we have for the collective right now is the seven of swords. And what I was having a moment because um, a lot of the cards, some of the cards came out here in reverse. And I thought maybe the whole deck was in reverse, but then I remembered that the last time I used this deck, I actually reversed a bunch of stuff. And I was caught and I and I forgot about it and I never fixed it. And I was called to use this deck today. So we're gonna take it as it is, okay? Uh, you have the Seven of Swords upright at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Seven of Swords is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the Two of Swords here. Uh, what I'm feeling for the collective, at least for this message here, is that there's deception. There is a lack of reciprocity, okay? And we're going to get to that, the rest of what we have here in a second. But there's deception in terms of a lack of reciprocity, but then the, the two of swords in reverse. I feel like somebody here... Hold on a second, Eric. 
Okay. All right. Um, with this two of swords in reverse here, someone may be recognizing it. Someone may be realizing it. Because in this deck, this is the Revelations Tarot. In this deck, this, this has depictions either upright or reverse. The depictions are different. Here in the upright version of this card, you have an individual that's holding one sword but is not looking at it. Is balancing it on their hand but is looking off to somewhere else. So this could represent the energies of denial, right? Having the truth right in front of them but choosing not to see it, refusing to see it, maybe not able to see it because they're caught up in whatever else is going on. This came, this is here in reverse. On this side of the card, we have this individual balancing the sword on their hand and intently focusing on it. So I think someone sees here the deception, the lies, and the trickery that's going on here. Okay, underneath the two of swords is the emperor upright, and then you have the two of cups in reverse. Yeah. So it feels like somebody here is responding to that, placing boundaries, uh, cutting people out of their life or cutting or taking steps to um, amend the situation, potentially. That was just what's at the bottom of the deck, overall energy. Let's get into the rest of this here. The two, There are two cards that have come out that have fallen face up. The rest have fallen face down. So yes, all right, on the surface, we have justice in reverse and the six of wands in reverse, okay? So this is very much a situation, you guys, where someone is consciously aware of the fact that there is injustice here and something has turned out to be a loss. That's what's on the surface. Underneath the surface, we have all cards that are upright. And except for one card, I like the energy that's underneath the surface. I don't like this card, the Nine of Swords, but coupled with the Fool and the King of Swords here, this Nine of Swords energy is quite plausible, is quite logical, okay? It makes sense why it would be here. I don't feel like you're focusing too much on this Nine of Swords energy, but it's still there, so you still need to be aware of it, okay? So that it doesn't, that type of energy doesn't run away with you, uh, but... There is a change, there's a change that's happening here, okay? Now, uh, we have the Fool, which is a leap of faith, moving in a new direction, taking a leap, blah, 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 all that stuff. You have the King of Swords, which is objectively seeing clearly or, or objectively seeing through the situation. Seeing the situation for what it exactly is, okay? Taking an objective approach towards it and then taking a leap of faith as a result. Now, this Nine of Swords could be many things. Okay, the Nine of Swords could be your energy in terms of taking a leap of faith here, moving in a new direction. I do feel like the Nine of Swords could be that energy within you of what if, what if, what if, like what happens if, like what's going to happen now, what if, and there, is a, there is a level of caution or at least there is a level of fear that's coming through in terms of cutting certain situations or cutting certain people off. But quite frankly, that's unfounded, okay? That fear is illusionary. It's not, it's not something to base any sort of logical decision on, okay? Because what you're basing your decision on already is logic, or at least is logical, is a balanced, objective point of view. And you're taking a leap of faith. You're moving forward with this situation Accordingly, you're, you're handling the situation accordingly, ex uh, according to exactly what the situation is. King of Swords, seeing something clearly, truly for what it is without emotion, right? Without having your emotions involved. Your emotions are getting involved in terms of following through with whatever it is you need to follow through with to handle the situation. And obviously, there are going to be a little bit of fears here and there. But that's not something to focus on. Again, it feels like it's a very natural part of this situation, okay? Someone is doing something new. Someone is switching it up. Someone is, someone is changing things up. And the other thing that I was getting with the Nine of Swords is that this Nine of Swords can represent the energies of the other people, if there are other people involved, or just like the other side of the equation. Some of this Nine of Swords energy is people being fearful because you're seeing through them, you're figuring it out, you're figuring them out, and you're acting accordingly.
<laughs> you know, it's like, ah. Uh, and your point is, <laughs> yikes, okay. All right, so what, I, I, what I'm asking in my head now is what's next in this situation? I also heard, what have you come to terms with? So whatever is next in this situation is related to what about this circumstance or situation you have come to terms with, okay? So what's next in this situation? What's next in this situation? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You do have temperance in reverse, but... What temperance in reverse is referring to is feeling like here for this situation is the is the alchemy is underway. Okay, the 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 alchemization, the re-alchemization. Because from this card here, it looks like it I kind of get the feeling. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it that well, but I kind of get the feeling with this side of the card, it is reversed. But with this side of the card, this is that process of adding certain ingredients into your mix, into your stew to get whatever result you're looking for, all right? That, that so to, like in analogy, in, in terms of an analogy, this would be that moment where you're getting all your ingredients together to bake a cake, right? This is you going through the process of baking a cake or whatever, of making something, right? You're gathering your ingredients, you're going through the process of combining them in the way it, that would result in something, in, in, that would result in a certain outcome. Like I said, you're handling this situation accordingly. You're doing whatever it is you need to do, or this individual is doing whatever it is they need to do to fix the situation or to bring balance into the situation, temperance, right? With this, you have death in reverse, the king of wands, the four of pentacles in reverse, and the four of swords. So first of all, what I wanna say here for you guys is, However it is you are handling the situation, it results in you letting go of something and thus feeling free because of that. Look at how happy this person looks. Look, the, the, the look on their face. They're, they're, that's like the epitome of freedom, right? That feels like right there. With that, the four of swords. Not only are you physically free from this situation, but you are mentally free from this situation. There is a lot of peace and clarity that you are receiving and or achieving because of releasing something like this because of your transformation death is in reverse here okay but i feel like it's symbolizing um it's symbolizing a transformation that has well underway which is kind of what we talked about in the last morning coffee session or is just sufficiently trans transitioned through okay this is the rebirth representation in this deck because you see this is reversed you have that baby there where upright you have a depiction of kali or kalima the goddess of destruction i believe or at least that's who it looks like to me okay which would be the act of destruction the art of destruction the period in which something is actually dying out reversed here you have the baby which is representing the rebirth aspect of death right? So it feels that you have, it feels like you've been reborn, okay? Especially with this King of Wands energy and something that may be really throwing people off or really generating this fear, this Nine of Swords energy, this shit, what's about to happen next is the fact that you are so solidly confident in who you are or whatever this transformation has been for you or whatever direction you're moving in right now, that it is that yo people there may be some people around you that are shitting their pants <laughs> and and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really know why like in feeling through this energy i'm kind of sitting here with you in this king of wands energy kind of like what exactly does my transformation have to do with those people like, okay, I transformed, I did something different, I saw the situation as it was, and I acted accordingly. 
I wasn't mean. I wasn't hateful. I didn't try and tear anybody down. There wasn't a fight or an argument about it. So I don't understand what these other people are so afraid of, why they're so up in arms about this. That's what I'm getting from the King of Wands. But also what I'm getting from the King of Wands is a fairly nonchalant energy of whatever. I mean, that's really none of my business. I don't have to figure that out. So why am I even wasting my time asking that question? <laughs> Okay, see, this is, and see, but that's, all, now, now, now to, to, okay, to bring some, a level of clarity or understanding into it for you, it's your demeanor, it's your confidence, it's the fact that you could stand against the crowd and say, I feel differently, and not care when other people don't agree with you or don't like it. I think what's really making people afraid or what's throwing people for a loop here with your transformation and your leap of faith, nine of swords with the fool, I think it's more a matter of they don't have that level of self-confidence and it's triggering and or threatening to them. Like they can't control you or you cannot or are not allowing yourself to be controlled in the same way that they are being controlled. They are allowing themselves to be controlled. So when you stand here in your sovereignty, your power, your might, and you stand against, excuse me, your might, and you stand against the crowd, you go against the grain, they're already taken aback, like, who the fuck is this, this, this person? Right. But then on top of that, you're not even trying to fight with them. You're not even trying to argue with them. You're not even trying to convince them the way that they're trying to convince or coerce or coerce you. And that's extra threatening because not only are you nonchalant, don't straight up, don't give a flying fuck what they have to say or what they have to do about it. You can't be manipulated or coerced into giving a flying fuck. <laughs> Transformation successful. Mm -hmm. You better do it, y'all. Let's get some clarity here. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. So what I want to look at, okay, they're telling me to break these things apart. I want to look at the Nine of Swords first, and then I want to look at the Fool. I want to look at the Fool on behalf of your energy. I want to look at the Nine of Swords here on behalf of this external energy that's maybe kind of acting a fool is what I want to say. What's this Nine of Swords here for the collective? Please, Spirit. Ooh. Ooh. Anything else, Spirit, for this Nine of Swords? Anything else for this Nine of Swords? Nope. No, that's it. Okay. Over, ooh. <laughs> Over <laughs> Overall energy, you guys, is the Ace of Cups. Why are people losing their shit, Nine of Swords? Because you found a level of self-love that is leading you to self-mastery Three of Pentacles, and ultimately is ending this situation or circumstance. Ten of Pentacles. You found a level of self-love and self-mastery to put yourself in a really excellent... Shut the fuck up. Really excellent vibration. Underneath the Ace of Cups is the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Bam! Yeah, these people can't touch you. This circumstance, this environment, this situation, whatever the fuck this is, it cannot touch you. Why? Because you are of a different vibrational reality. Or, no, let me say you're of a different vibrational alignment. You're of a vibrational alignment of self-mastery, self-awareness, self-love, unconditional love. And it's that, it's that element of unconditional love that actually makes you so nonchalant here. Because you recognize that those, whatever, that's their path, that's their life. Like, do you, boo? 
There's even a, and what even, what also, thro what throws people off the most is that instead of fighting fire with fire, instead of reacting or instead of approaching this situation the exact same way they would with coercion and shaming and trying to get and trying to convince them that your way is right, the same way they have been doing to you or just the same way they have been, they have been. Instead, you approach the situation with a word, that's your alignment, do you, boo. I support you. I'm there for you. I'm w I'll I respect that. And they're like, what the fuck just happened? You damn right. You are here. You are in your king and queen of wands. You are in your alignment. You are in your self-confidence. And they are stuck here. The Hierophant. Hey, but you know what? That's cool. Because the other thing that you understand that makes this such a powerful position for you is that, and that's where the Ten of Pentacles comes into play with like a lesson having been learned and a situation being closed out. Oh no. Oh no! I completely lost it, you guys. I'm sorry. And it was such a good point too. Wait, maybe I can remember. Oh, that's right. Part of what is so triggering or what throws these, these people off is that you understand that it's their life, it's their journey, and if they're going to get themselves out of that, number one, they're going to have to want to. And number two, they're going to have to do their work to get there just like you did. That's an equal give and take, I just heard, isn't it? That's an equal give and take. Well, there you go. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's move forward here. Next, I want to look at the fool for you, yeah? Now, this is on behalf of your energy, okay? What's the fool here for the collective? What is the fool here for the collective? Please, spirit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's take that too. Okay, excellent. Overall energy is the Ten of Swords. You're done. You're just done. Ten of Swords, all right? End to the madness is what I just heard. So the Fool is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Hanged Man. All right, so... What is this saying here? Well, first of all, the Four of Pentacles is giving me two energies. One, it's giving me the energy of having let go of something. Two, it's giving me the energy of a very solid foundation. A solid, a foundation that's so solid, actually, that it gives you a, 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 a strong place to, to leap from. It's like your springboard. Okay, it's the solid ground beneath you that allows you to sufficiently make this leap, right? To push yourself off of, to leap from, to leap from. Okay, what you're leaping towards is greater happiness and fulfillment. Maybe even a better community. Some of you may actually be leaving a group of people or a community behind. Okay, for something better. For something that is more in alignment with you at this time. Doesn't mean that they weren't in alignment with you in the past. We're talking about at the current moment. Which was also another representation of the Ten of Pentacles. You've learned your lesson here. Or this situation has played itself out. Okay. It's time to release this and move towards something new. The Hanged Man and the Ace of Wands. Change in perspective understanding, gaining whatever it is you needed to gain in this situation, learning whatever it is you needed to learn in this situation, and now being inspired to move forward. And having learned whatever you needed to learn in this situation is also represented by the Four of Pentacles. This is why you have that foundation or that springboard to leap from. This is really beautiful, you guys. Really, really beautiful. Okay, closing oracle guidance. Where do we want to get it from? Okay. We're going to go with the fairy forest oracle today. Five shuffles here. You got it. 
Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Hmm. All right, y'all. Let's get this closing oracle message. What is the closing oracle guidance for this reading? Wow. Okay, card number eight. Elven touch. Recovery, comeback, revival. Eights have been a repeating number for me lately, by the way. And also, I'm picking up on, for some of you, eights have been a repeating number for you too. So if you've been going through this experience and seeing a lot of the number eight with this, that is because you have connected to, whether you're conscious of it, con uh, 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 whether you're, con uh, um, yes, whether you're conscious of it or not, you have connected to an, an energy of infinity and abundance. And that is what's helping you be able to really release this situation because you're really starting to understand the flow of everything. You're starting to understand how ev nothing ever and nothing ever dies. You know, you're connected to that infinity. The eight is the is the symbol of infinity, right? It just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And you, as you keep going with it, you keep learning and learning and learning and learning, expanding, 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 expanding. Everybody has access to that. Everybody does that. Everybody can do that. That's what's helping you be so nonchalant. That's what's helping you disconnect so much. That's what's helping you be so okay with those people having their experience in their moment and you having yours. Because you're connected to that energy of infinity. So if you've been seeing a lot of eights throughout this situation, that is why, okay? Excellent. Let's read this card here. There are some who walk among us who have healing capabilities. In the fairy forest, this is known as having the, quote, elven touch, unquote. When this card comes to you, you are being offered the assistance of this elven touch, a healing touch of energy that transfers to you some of the gift of immense good health, which aids immediately in your recovery. This transfer of magical energy from the elves offers you a spark of vitality, that luminous quality that helps us to awaken each day refreshed and ready with renewed enthusiasm, vigor, and optimism. The elven ones are now still themselves and gathering, I'm sorry, the elven ones are now stilling themselves and gathering their energy to send to you when you are ready to receive. To allow this energy to work its healing within your cells, simply find a quiet place to be sometime today. Cast whatever doubts your human mind brings forth aside for a time and visualize a silver stream of pure energy entering your crown. Being touched by elves has always been known to be powerful. They can heal and they can harm. And for you, this transfer of energy brings forth great healing and a relief from physical pain. Seek healing treatments that involve touch. Beautiful. There you have it, you guys. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope you have a fan-freaking-tastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>